Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. We're going to draw Sakura cherry blossoms today. Let's get started on this really pretty, sweet, and easy project. So here we go. We're going to draw this Sakura blossom and first we need a branch to put it on. So I'm going to come across. My branch is going to have little bumps and then a little branch coming off. You can do this however you want. Just remember that cherry blossoms have rough branches. And I will have some branches that are going up and coming down. Mine's going horizontally. So now we're going to go ahead and start drawing these blossoms in. Cherry blossoms have many parts. We're going to do one from the side and this is the bottom of the blossom with a stem coming off of it. Then the petals are basically diamonds. Look at that. Easy peasy. We'll put another one right here. This one is not as open. You see mostly just a couple petals. There we go. And then we will have one that is facing right towards us. And this one, I'm going to draw the petals first and then draw the center. And now you've got all the different directions, basically, that you can have. Cherry blossoms do have lovely stamens that stick out with little tiny balls on the ends. Have a few of them coming across into your flower petals. And now I'm going to fill in the rest of this with cherry blossoms. Now we've got our Sakura blossoms all drawn in. We're going to color them. All right, let's get painting these with watercolor pencils. I'm starting off with my softest pink color. I lay a little bit of the color in out at the tips and at the base. Leave the middle of the flower empty, middle of each petal. We're going to get all of the colors wet at the same time. So right now we're just going to color all of the tips and bases.
Now we're going to color the buds and the stems. I'm taking the magenta and I will take some vermilion. We're going to take some of this magenta down into the centers also. Now we're going to go in and put color onto the branch. The branch is very, very easy. You put very little color. Put the color from the bottom edge coming up. Leave the top edge empty. We will fill that when we get it all wet. All right, this is where the magic happens. We are going to get this wet and we are working on sketchbook paper, so keep it light. You melt the pencil, leave some white, don't fill the whole thing in. Don't move all the color all the way across. That gives you your crinkles and shadows and highlights without having to do any hard work. I'm gonna wet that center down and move it around. There we go. And you see, you can just magically put the color around. Let's get this all done. Right, guys how'd we do look at that so pretty so quick and easy in real time it only took me 18 minutes you got to see it a lot faster if you want the real-time video you can click on my join patreon I will be posting this as a video just for my patrons for the real-time coloring and drawing Thank you guys so much. I hope that you will join me on Patreon and continue to join me here on Deliberately Creative. Make sure you do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you, and I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>